Welcome back everybody, we've got more 1v1 solo championship action here from TI4. I'm God, joining me is Merlini, and we have got S4 versus Ice Ice Ice, the reigning champion from the 1v1 championship, playing over on the Dire side. He's on Team Havost, apparently. As for S4, he's uh, going to be playing on the Radiant side, Puck versus Puck. is going to be out game one. S4 going for a Boots first, and Ice Ice Ice, both players Boots first. Ice 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 actually scouts him out from high ground. Some very unconventional meta coming out. Ice 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 is, I would say, going courier hunting right now, because he is trying to figure out exactly what's going to actually find each other here. Ice 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 is going to start right-clicking away, phase shift level one. Boots first for S4. Both boots happen. first. Like, what is this nonsense? I, I don't know. Ice Ice Ice, he's... He is really cheeky, though. I remember the Axe vs. Axe matchup. He creeps skipped at level one. In oh, he's, he he's going to draw the aggro around. Is that what the plan is? I'm not oh. exactly sure what his plan is. Well, it won't really matter that much because neither of them had an advantage when it comes to CS. Like, yeah. no no one has a no talisman, so if they're both trying to CS under the tower, it's going to be the same thing. Well, the... <laughs> Take tower. You do not want to get hit by that tower, so he quickly gets the, uh, the face shift up. So, one tanker already eaten by Ice Ice Ice. Already starting his trolling ways. You said you're looking forward to him. I'm like, you t say how he likes to troll. There's some fun matchups. I'm like, oh, puck for his puck. Like how how he, he has a surprise be, factor. But... I think that's why he won last year. Yeah, it's, it's because he does weird stuff that you never see on a one-on-one. -on -one. I just can't believe they both got boots first. Like, it, it's almost like they conspired to do this. Ice 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 doesn't creep block as well, so he just flat out loses. A will draw aggro off, and that means his range creep will die pretty fast. So it's not the end of the world for him. Nah, he he's recovered quite well from that yeah. actually. So two of his creeps are already dead, as opposed to only one. Alrighty, well uh, he'll pull it back to his tower even, should be able to get this last hit under tower as well. And yeah, uh, it's an interesting start, that's for sure, very different from what we saw out of Arteezy and Dendi in our first quarter final. This is just game one of our second, Quap versus Quap going to be the game two, and if needed game three, SF versus SF. Here at TI4. I think Boots vs. Boots is a lot more about finesse. You're trying to like edge in one right click harass, but that's actually much more common in other matches because if you make slight mistakes in Puck vs. Puck, like you trade one harass for nothing, you can just face shift it and then you're, you reset back yeah. to zero. So I feel like Boots vs. Boots isn't actually that important in this. Maybe if you want to contest rooms or something like that, it will be a lot more important. Yeah, well, uh, first room going to be spawning in 40 seconds time. There's no zero minute rune in the uh, 1v1 format. And uh, we'll see what they look to go. S4 so far leading the CS by a good margin, which means he probably should be getting his bottle out much quicker. 7 CS to the 3 of Ice Ice Size. This is a big lead for the Alliance Swedish solo mid player. S4 isn't very aggressive though. As you can see, he's almost always on his hill. So if Ice 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 yeah. wants to attack him, he's going to have to attack through the phase shift and uphill, which is just a losing proposition. He's going Null, null Talisman instead of the bottle. He's sitting on full HP and full mana. So I guess you look at that and say, well, What's he getting bottled for? It doesn't need the regen just yet. Maybe to, well, to bottle up a rune. Yeah, but... if you store up a rune, it's, yeah. you can almost guarantee yourself the next rune with it. Okay. The uh, the Null Talisman arrive, and uh, I imagine he goes back for a bottle at some point. He's going to orb down, and uh, Ice 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 manages to face shift dodge. It gets a deny or two, but it's 12 CS to 4 right now. This is a brutal start for Ice Ice Ice. It is indeed. And this is... Oh, S4 trying to harass under tower, and neither player has checked a two-minute rune. It is an illusion rune spawning on top lane, and Ice 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 actually going for a Sage's Mask, which, if you want regen, you generally go for a bottle. If you want to push a lane, you go for a Bassy, so I would assume he's going for a Bassy. Yeah. Bassy ringing kind of acts a similar way to Null Talisman. That gives you good damage. Uh, you don't get the other stats, the HP. But yeah, Null Talisman is far better. It's less... It, it's less uh, gold and it actually gives you a Slightly lot more, more damage. Yeah. Well, it gives you a lot more HP yeah. too, so yeah. you don't get bursted down. The uh, the Bassering coming out now, so Ice 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 recognizing he needs something to help him out. Just something to mix it up here in this 1v1 matchup. S4, uh, similar on levels here, so even though he's dominating the CS, Ice 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 can always go for kills, is the other thing here. Yeah, uh, I, I think that the Bassy is far more useful like eight minutes onwards when you're actually getting damage on a tower and when the leveling damage from Illusory Orb and Waning Rift start to level out and you're relying a lot more on right clicks because right now the armor is not terribly useful. Yeah. If you get hit by tower, you just face shift it and you're not actually going to be taking that much damage. I guess it's more if you go for a kill and you're trading right clicks. Like we saw that a lot in the Dendi vs. Arteezy where they trade right clicks when they the kills do happen. You stand your ground and fight and that's where the plus three armor could make a difference because mm -hmm. his physical damage resistance 26 percent 
S4 sitting on 17%. But so. at the same time, uh, S4 already has one armor from the stats that he's gotten, yeah. and he has a lot more HP to compensate for that, so I would say it's still a wash. Okay. Well, uh, for now, S4 still uh, leading the CS. He's got 900 gold. Is this going to be like a phase boot? So what do you think he wants to buy with all this gold that he stored up? I'm not actually sure. I think a bottle is pretty standard. Um, you, if you really want to play it safe, you can get a TV scroll too. He drink coils you, you just TP out, and you're almost assuredly going to live. But there's not really a good reason to save up gold. There's not like any game changing items. Like Blink is actually pretty useless in 101. Because Dagon. <laughs> Dagon. Dagon's pretty good. Um, I've seen people get Orchid. Orchid's pretty good. Um, there are a lot of options. You can get Treads early, you can yeah, get Phase he's... early, you can get. He's uh, gone for the treads, it looks like. I've seen Yules, I've seen Necros, I've seen HOD, I've seen a lot of different builds in Puck on Puck, but at, at least after your bottle you can go with those items, but usually you just get bottle control runes and then go from there. Yep. Ice Ice. Ice 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 on the meanwhile is going to be going for, looks to be some more Nal Talismans, well, his first Nal Talisman as well as some extra regen, so brings out some Tangos, wants the, uh, the circ Circlet as well. S4. Treads up, and he can use this to tread swap a bit quite fairly efficiently. No, neither player going for runes, neither player getting bottles just yet. So, and you do miss out a little bit on like maybe some last inning opportunities if that happens. He could go for a curious snipe here, not going to go in though. If you go for that, you probably pay for it with your life. So, yeah, especially since Ice has just hit level six. But as yeah. for a more conservative player, he with strength treads, he has 815 HP, and he's also gone for a 3 1 1. Ice has is going for a far more aggressive build with a 1 3 1, and his CS is going to suffer as a result. So, it is, the longer and longer the game drags on, the worse and worse it is for Ice's yeah. I think he needs to get a kill or at least put significant amounts of pressure on S4 in the next like couple of minutes, or else S4 is just going to run away with that amount of gold that he's accrued. It feels like S4 realizes the only way he's winning the CS, the only way he loses is if Ice 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 kills him. That's where he goes for the treads because it gives him a lot of bonus HP. Even picks up a magic wand. Killing him right now with strength treads, magic wand, the uh, like, upgraded he, to get plus three. He has a tank tower yeah. or like tank Ice Ice Ice's DD or something very significant or miss one of his spells in order for him to lose a man fight yeah. at this point. It's where I'd like to see Ice 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 get a bottle just so he could get runes. I feel like for Ice 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 to win right now, he needs to almost get like a haste plus a DD rune at the same time and then go for a kill with like a double rune. I, I just don't see him... He's not going to win a War of Attrition and he's not going to be able to really get a kill without something unorthodox. It just depends on how S4 wants to go for the win condition though. It's either yeah. kill Ice 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 like under his tower once he's gotten a medium amount of farm, maybe once he's gotten a lot of farm, or just push down his tower with a Bassy of his own. Um, I've seen players get mech and try and push down the towers. Well, all these are valid options for him. He just has to decide which one is best for him in this situation and which one is going to work the best for his eyes, eyes, eyes. As it stands, S4 now going to go high ground with an orb here. He's got a call. He's going to go for the kill here. Ice 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 maybe needs to orb out. He's going to hold his ground for now. Recalls backwards. Waning Rift is here as well. Ice 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 all forward. He may get the kill. No, S4. Waning Rift, one HP. He dies in the end. GG is called. That was a very valiant effort by Ooh. Ice Ice Ice. It was a good place for him to stand. It was right under the guise yeah. of his tower. And again, he had to make a move in the next couple of minutes or else he was just going to fall way too far behind. Yeah. He really baited him, like he made it look like he was tri like kind of trapped in the coil and then he turned it around, used everything, almost comes out on top. That was, was really close. I think, did he have a magic stick on that? I don't think so. I think if he had a magic stick, yeah. he actually would have won that. Um, but at the same time, he had a limited amount of gold. But still, very fantastic play from Isaac. I think the level 3 silence actually caught S4 off guard significantly. Yes, yeah. I don't know, was he on the strength threads as well there at the end? It didn't... It, yeah. It, okay, so, I think so yeah. he did have the bonus HP. Even with that, even with the magic wand, he still almost goes down, so... Uh, it was a good finish, and uh, we'll get...